Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Open Some Packs. Um, yeah, I'm continuing this series on uh, plastic cards. Um, cards that are 100% plastic playing cards, as you can see here on this box. Uh, today I'm opening a pack of Modiano, I believe you pronounce it. Um, and yeah, these are, uh, I would like, they're made in Italy. That's another cool thing about them. They're 100% uh, they're acetate. And if you haven't seen my other videos, I did some Chem, K-E-M, and I did some Copag as well. And I bought a bunch of other ones. So uh, if you like and subscribe, you'll see the other ones I'm doing. I bought a bunch of other plastic playing cards. I'm going to just keep reviewing them. This plastic playing cards are new to me. I, <laughs> it's crazy because I'm used to paper. Let's see, like different kinds of stock, you know, from different kinds of playing cards, like a bicycle and or USPCC, which is bicycle, uh, all the Cardamundi stuff, uh, which owns USPCC now. But yeah, like I've been trying different uh, paper stock and uh, I never liked plastic playing cards. So once I tried these, I was sold. Uh, I've tried other plastic playing cards before uh, and I don't think they were trying to be good. And let me tell you, if you haven't tried these two, um, you're in for something, uh, something new. It's really cool. Uh, they're not really for cardistry. They're more for like poker, um, card games and things like this. Maybe some magic. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, so I ordered these from Modiano directly and these are not from Modiano directly. Uh, they actually sent them to me or they were going to send them to me. Uh, and I checked my credit card, uh, and it said, it said I had ordered um, hair extensions. And I was like, hair extensions, what? I didn't get my hair, dude. So then I was like, all right, I'm gonna call their, uh, their, their customer service and be like, what is going on? And turns out they, they, they own a bunch of different companies, like a company owns Mariano that also owns a hair extension company. So if you order from them and you see that on your credit card bill, just know that's what's going on. Anyways, these are sold out. They're really hard to get actually. They're not as easy as you think. Um, I found them on eBay. One person was selling them on eBay, uh, and they were selling them for ten dollars the over the, the the price that that they that they charge. But their shipping kind of makes up for it. So they're like twenty bucks on their site, but then it's like fifteen dollars shipping. So just be ready to pay the same price that you did for something like these, uh, the KEM and uh, the Copag are obviously a little bit more affordable. Uh, and I'll keep doing these and uh, maybe at the end when I get them all done, because I, like I said, I'm buying a bunch of different brands, uh, I will uh, do a final review of all five or six that I have. Uh, yeah, and their customer service was fantastic, by the way. So if you order from them, the customer service was some of the best customer service I've ever experienced in my life. Um, they gave me a refund and everything, and I ended up getting them on eBay. So cool, the box, these look legit because of the, uh, uh, be, by the way, there is a, um, you got to be careful with plastic playing cards. I've been finding this out as I've been buying. People make fake ones. <laughs> There's an industry for fake plastic playing cards. Knockoffs. Crazy. Cool. So you get one of these. These, one of these, these are the, uh, the card cutting cards. Um, the, the, the people I ordered from, they're, they're called uh, Poker's Playing House or something. They sent me a bunch of these. Uh, I guess it's a thing for people that play poker. I never use those. Uh, oh, cool, and you get more of them. Look at that, you get one more. Um, yeah, they have different types, Modiano. From what I've been reading, these are some of the best too. So let's try them out. Let's start with, um, you get a box too. You know I love these little boxes. They're like the best. Like I like keeping them in the boxes. And like I said, I'm gonna do a final review of all of them. So right now I've done KEM, Copag, Modiano, and I will do um, the uh, the others that I have. And, and the, in the near future. I'm gonna go back to some paper ones for a while. So I'm gonna just do, I don't wanna turn into a plastic playing card channel. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. All right, so cellophane. Let's start ranking these by the cellophane, right? Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay, so it comes right off. We don't need our tool. Um, oh, okay, so I can already feel a lot of texture here. Wow, okay. These are definitely sturdier and they don't smell like plastic yet. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So yeah, these feel differently than the KEM. They're, they're sturdier, 
uh, but they're light. They 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 shuffle really good. They feel fantastic. The bend. So this is why I think. Oh, we'll look at the quartz and stuff in a second. That was a joker. Um, yeah, these are really snappy, snappy and soft. Hard to explain. Wow, look at that. This actually feels more like a real deck of cards. Oh, yeah, look at that. The other ones were really soft. Um, that's a cool joker. Let's hold that up to the camera. Yeah, that's that's a really nice joker. I'm a huge, I like jokers and aces. Oh, cool, look at the quartz. Pretty standard, but very bold, very bright. The colors on these are fantastic. The inks, um, and I like, I like it when, when people, um, they do standard pips, but they're like a little bit different. Like, look at that one. You know, I think this is probably what it used to look like more uh, in classic cards. If you look at classic cards, um, they look like that. Not a fan of this heart, but again, it looks like a, it looks like a classic one. You see, it's basically the, the spade without the little, and just flipped over. You could, you could tell it is a little, yeah. Sorry, I'm being super, oh, that's neat. That's very classic. See, I love when they're like, there's like little font there. <laughs> it's so classy, I don't know why. Made in Italy, nice. Cool, so I, um, okay, cool. So they're doing their, their brand on the, on the aces there. Let's see what they're doing on the ace of spades. Four jokers? Okay. You know, there's different card games that people play Ooh, look at that ace. Let's leave, let's leave that out. Um, we'll look at the ace in a bit. So different, like different countries have different like games. Like Texas Hold'em is super popular, right? In the US uh, and I'm sure in other places as well. But that's kind of like the standard here now for some reason. It just picked up and uh, so you get three jokers here. And so you, you see a lot of like that kind of stuff with, with decks I've noticed or other games like Euchre and Spades and things like this. So I'm wondering if there's something special about this game uh, with three jokers in Italy. Uh, maybe y'all know, maybe y'all can explain, but look at this ace. That's a nice ace. You know, it looks better than the rest of the cards. And that's when you know it's a nice, it's a good ace. When it's like, hey, this card is prettier than the rest. It's probably the strongest one. And you're right, because it is. All right, cool. So handling wise, they feel they feel solid. They feel like they're worth money. They're not, um, you know, they're not crappy. And I, like I said, every time I get a plastic plane, a deck of plastic playing cards, I get scared. It's the truth. You know what it's like? Have you ever been to like, um, I don't know, like a theme park or some kind of event? And there's a gift shop, like an airport or something. I don't know. One of those places where there's a gift shop and they have playing cards there. And you go and you're like, I'm going to buy some playing cards. Because I really enjoyed this event or whatever. Or I'm visiting the city. I'm going to buy some playing cards. And you buy them and the cards are just crap. <laughs> that's that's what I, I get that fear in my head when I'm buying plastic playing cards. Like, oh, they're going to be so bad. All right. So here we go. Um, cool. Just... Showing, they come in new deck order, it looks like. Yeah, but it's a different new deck order. It's not the bicycle new deck order. Um, let's put these over here. I usually take my jokers up for the plastic cards. I've been leaving them in. Because I'm not going to use these for cardistry or, or anything. These, yeah, these feel about the same. Nothing different, really. This one feels a little sturdier. For some reason. No, it's, yeah, this one does feel a little sturdier. Maybe it's just something in the... I have like spidey fingers sometimes. I can feel different. Whoa. Okay, so they, they're they sturdier. And if you saw, I just dropped the cards there um, because I, I expected them to bend differently. Uh, so it's kind of, it's weird. So they're like very soft. That's what I meant earlier. Remember when I said they're very soft but sturdy? So my hand expects it to act a certain way because that's how the paper ones act or even the cam and the copag but they're, they're acting different. They're like, they're like hard, but soft. I don't know how to explain it yet. See that? I mean, these, these, uh, these are nice. Let's see what the in, inside one looks like. Yeah. Like, and they don't smell, you know, that's another plus. They're, they feel, 
they feel premium very premium if you don't own any I, if you're a collector like me uh, and you like playing cards you like messing with playing cards or even if you just like playing games with cards I recommend I recommend all of them Copag KEM and Modiano but if you had to pick one right now I'm gonna go with Modiano right now right now again I'm gonna, like I said I'm gonna do another review at the end uh, but if you're like, hey, I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I just, I'm watching your video because I just want to buy some, some plastic playing cards. If you had to pick between these three, um, I would, I would do this. If you can find them, you can't. They're sold out completely on their, uh, on their website. I, I, I got standard index. Um, they have jumbo ones. If you like jumbo, I'm not a big fan of the jumbo. Just because I like the the classiness of this, some people like jumbo. That's cool. That's you. Um, yeah, but I would get these. These feel they're really sturdy. I don't know how to explain it. They're sturdy but soft. Remember that. If you buy them, and you're like, oh, that's what he meant. Uh, it's the only way. You can kind of hear it when I do this. Let's see. Let's see if you can hear this. I'm gonna. You hear that? It's kind of like firm but soft, like a pillow. You know. You hear that? Yeah, you can probably hear it. The uh, the chem are softer. Uh, the Copag have a similar feel, but they smell like plastic. So, and they're more affordable. So if you're like, no, I just want to spend twenty bucks, yo, just want to spend twenty bucks. I don't want to spend forty five for a deck for two decks of cards. Are you kidding me? Uh, I would go with the Copag right now. So right now, let me, let me do it again. If you have the money to spend and you want to buy a really nice, look, look at how look at how nice this art is too on this Joker. Like, Jokers are a big one for me. That's where I could tell, like, if they care. Um, and the back design. Back design is really nice and standard, very simple. It's not going to distract anybody. Uh, you saw the quartz. The ace is fantastic. The, you, you get the little box, which, which is actually a really nice box. Look at that. Man, the Italians are they're doing a good job here. 100% Italian plastic playing cards. Like... Everyone's kind of bragging about that. I'm, I'm assuming this was a thing at some point. But by the way, plastic playing cards are very new to me if you haven't figured that out already. So I would get these if you have the money and you want a good deck of cards. Because like just messing around with them already, I'm, I, I read this is my favorite one so far. Um, but if, you wanna, if you're a collector and you want to have all of them, I would get all three. The KEM are the softest. So if you care about feel, the, K, the, the, K, the chem, is it Cam or KM? I, I say both ways every time just to cover my butt. But like the, the folding, the, the flipping on the KM feel better. Uh, so they're softer. So I would recommend them for that. And they, when you shuffle them, the KM, I, and I'll do that in another video. I'm gonna, uh, there's a one I already did, and then I'll do another one. But they feel fantastic. Uh, and then Copag is probably the, the most affordable ones. Um, yeah, but that's it. That's the review. I recommend these. I'm really digging plastic playing cards, and I'm going to do more. I'm going to do uh, probably like two or three more videos, maybe four, on plastic playing cards, and then I'll do like a final, or maybe three videos. I think it's two. Let's do, let's start with two. Let's 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 keep it chill. Two more videos on plastic playing cards, uh, and then do like a big like, hey, let's compare these, and which one should you get? Um, and I'm going to do a little like preview or a little guess. I'm going to guess that in that video, I might like these the best. I'm just saying that now. I could be wrong. Because the other two that I have are also very big on the... Hey, they're 100% plastic playing cards. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.